my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have a local beer out of downtown Cleveland, Ohio. This is the Masthead Brewing Company. The Witness Me. Every time I think of Witness, I have to think of LeBron James because they had that mural up downtown forever and a day until they finally won the championship. Oh, my goodness. Those days are long gone. But anyway, this is described as a double IPA. It's not for lightweights. It checks in at 8% alcohol by volume in the IBUs are 90. Ooh, it's brewed with Amarillo, Mosaic, and some other kind of hop. Um, I'll figure it out as I go along. Yeah, but at any rate, we're going to enjoy it, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got our Masthead Brewing Company glassware here. So let's go ahead and get this 16 ounce can into the glassware. Now, this is not a New England style beer. Matter of fact, let me see. Did I write down? No, I didn't write down. Let me see, because there was another kind of hop in here. Let me read here. Oh, Idaho 7. How can I forget that? Idaho 7. Yeah, this is not a um, New England style IPA. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a uh, lovely clear pour. Look at it. Yeah, you know, I like those New England style IPAs up to a point. Up to a point. But too many of them. Mm. But this is a very clear golden pour. It's got lovely foam. Now, I did that on purpose, of course. Yeah, I like a beer with a little bit of foam on it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Masthead Brewing Company's got some fabulous beers. They're right across the street from where I used to live. Just think if I still lived there. Oh, my gosh. I'd be a lush for sure. <laughs> nah, there's not too much I can drink these days because yeah, after that uh, incident I had 13 years ago, I just uh, can't drink like I used to. The mind wants to, but the body says, no, you can't do that, Dave. No, you can't do that. But at any rate, let's get some of them on this. Mm. Oh, did I say the beer is 42 days old? It's fresh, very fresh. Oh, man. That is D-A-N-K, dank. Oh, very hoppy. This is going to be a good beer. I've never had a beer from Masthead that I didn't absolutely love. And there's very few breweries I can say that about. And I'm not just saying it because it's a local brewery. There's plenty of local breweries around here, but I don't like all their beers. Now, this brewery, fabulous. So let me thank the brewers at Masthead for all the hard work they put in, all the quality beers that they brew. I love you guys. Cheers to them. Cheers to you at home. No doubt. Mm, man, that is a good beer. That is a quality beer. You can always tell quality. If you were going to blindfold me and give me some beer, I'd say, hey, look, this right here, this is a quality beer. Yeah, mm, man. A mm. little bit of malt there, a little bit of a malt backbone, but it quickly turns to a hop killer. This is a hop killer beer, no doubt. Man, is it good. And that head, that, oh man, that rocky head. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. That is a sure sign of a quality beer. A sure sign. Because how many times have you had a beer? You pour it out, you might not fit it all into the glass, and you pour the rest of it in. Just flat as a pancake. Yeah, it might have a it might have a little bit of foam on it for a minute or so, and then flat as a pancake. Look at that beer. Look at that. Yeah, that foam is not going anywhere, baby. You could put a snow shovel in there. Oh, my cat's coming over here to chat me up. Did you hear him? <laughs> you want to do a beer review? <laughs> Mmm, man. 
you got to be careful with this beer, though, because it is deceiving. The 8% alcohol is not detectable at all, which makes this a super dangerous beer. Yeah, if I were downtown drinking this, I'd have to call my buddy up who still lives down there and say, yeah, man, I got to uh, stay over at your apartment for a few hours because I can't drive home, man. And he'd call me an old fart. And I'd say, yeah, okay, I'm going to be an old fart, but I'm going to be a safe old fart because I'm not driving home. Or, what's the flip side to that? Uh, get a motel room for the night. Yeah, why not? Yeah, You drink too many of these, you're going to be in trouble, though. Really. Yeah, this is a smooth, easy drinking beer. It's a full-bodied beer. Oh, my goodness. You hear him? It's a full-bodied beer with medium carbonation. And, man, minus the alcohol, though. That's what makes it super dangerous. That makes it super dangerous. Yeah, so at any rate, again, it's from the Masthead Brewing Company in Cleveland, Ohio. I don't know what the distribution network is for this brewery, but if you can get your hands on one of these, you won't be sorry. Now, I do know that, um, what is the name of that uh, distribution company? I can't think of it right offhand. I'll put it in the, the uh, description box. You can buy that beer from a local distribution company here in Ohio in Medina, and they will send it to the lower 48 for a very small fee, very small fee. The trick is you have to buy in quantities of 6 or 12, and you can mix and match. You don't have to buy all the same beer. Again, I don't get any money for that. Yeah, maybe I should uh, hook up with these guys so I can get a little bit of uh, cash, huh? <laughs> hey, life is short. Let's be happy. And then to that end, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers.